So what we're going to do this time is make a win area. So when we get to a checkpoint, you know, the game will win. Fairly sort of straightforward. I've got this uh, finish line, which I'm just going to import. If your mesh is in separate pieces, you might want to combine it, but otherwise, it is be fine. I do know my unit scales a bit off, so I'm just gonna set this maybe by 10 um, and import it. Now let's have a look. Cool, we can see it's imported. Um, it's on the wrong axis because I exported it as an OBJ. And that happens when you export as an OBJ. Um, and I'm going to scale it up a bunch more. It's also worth noting that uh, I used a plane for this side. So if you have used a plane, you just need to make sure that the material you use is two-sided. And you can do that by just going into your material and clicking two sided but i'll set up a, a proper texture for this shortly for now let's just do the thing and then we'll make it pretty um cool what we'll do is we'll just use a box trigger we do enjoy ourselves a nice box trigger scale you up Cool. that'll mostly do for that. That's in the right place. So let's go to our third person character and open his blueprint. Um, find ourselves some space and what we'll do is we'll just create a new variable, a public variable which we'll call um, win area. We'll have to change its type to box trigger or trigger box even. <laughs> And we want to click this little eyeball to make it public so we can set it in a minute. And then we're going to do an on begin overlap. Um, and then we'll print string. And what we'll need to do is we need to set this in a scene. So if I get my third person character, because we made it public, we've now got this area in our details panel called win area, which I can just tick and click U like that. So my play is only going to spawn there. Let's just make sure this prints hello. Hey. Uh, it's worth noting that my collision is <laughs> terrible on this. We need to change my collision. Um, but we can see it printed hello anyway. And at that point, we might want to do more fun things um, like, you know, play animation. And maybe we want to create like something that pops up on our screen as well, like a create widget, um, which we don't have right now, but I'll quickly make in a sec. And then we'll don't forget to add this to your viewport. And, you know, maybe we'd play a sound as well. Play sound again, I don't have a sound but we could play like a wind sound as well there. So, um, I mean, that's essentially the gist of it, but what I'll do now is I'll quickly show you how to do these next steps as well. So, first of all, let's get you, open up our mesh, um, and change the collision. We'll just use a, where it says default. Uh, in fact, we can just do an overlap all, the things off the side. We don't need to worry about that for now. Um, we could use a complex as simple too, but that might be just easier for now. Cool. There we go. We can walk through um, and let's do the next stuff, which was make an animation. So I'm going to go to my mannequin animations. Um, which one should we just base this on? We'll just do it off idle. In fact, we've already. Yeah, so we'll duplicate our idle, and we'll call it win. Oops, should have called it win anim, but it'll be fine. And in here, very quickly, um, let's just do a bad job of this. Add keyframe. Whoop, rotate the arm. So it's up and. Wait, did I? Yeah. Let's add the keyframe again. Like I said, just going to add some keyframes to this. Have it so the arms up. 
maybe it'll do just like a, a simple wave. Let's just, yeah, let's just do a wave. So I'm gonna do as well, it's just so I remember my rotation. It's just copy the rotation, move forward, move that rotation, so back and forth. Don't forget to press the button to add keyframe. I like so I'm just going to paste hmm. the of one the back in. Is offline. To connect, swipe down from the top of your screen. Then go to settings. Oh my god. Network. Thanks, Alexa. Um, there we go. So now it's got a simple wave. Let's just add a bit of waste as well, shall we? Um, is it? Should we do it from there? Yeah, we'll just do a bit of. Or should we do spine two? Yeah, it's a bit nicer, isn't it? So again, same thing, copy the root, um, go forward a bit, add just a touch of rotation, key, rotate back, key, maybe add two keys, hold them in that position for a while, and then he can come back. Cool, and let's see how that looks. Uh, that last point looks like the arm didn't actually go to the correct thing, which is a bit annoying. So it's about there. So it's like a weird jump. Yeah, the arm should be. Ooh, not that one. Um, was it lower arm? All right, that should be closer. Like I said, don't want to worry too much about this. That'll do. Okay. And let's go back to the character. We can now wire up this, and we can change this to win. Did we say to win? Yeah, we did. Make sure we tick looping. And then it's gonna say, we need to create a widget. So let's just do this real quick. I've already got a folder called widgets, uh, which I made before. But anyway, so get a folder called widgets if you've already got one. Right click, user interface, user interface widget blueprint, win. And it's got W open that up. Um, this will do. This is what your screen will look like. I'm just going to add some big old text here saying you win. And we'll make this better and beautify it and stuff later on. But for now, let's just. That'll do. That'll do. Stick you there. Add to the viewport. Um, When, why are you into, oops, don't see that. And we don't actually have a sound. So, don't think we've got any sounds in the game. Let's just check that that works. <laughs> well, our wind didn't appear and we can still move. We need to make sure we plot rotation and oh my God, I've absolutely just broken this guy's poor arm. That is terrible. I feel so bad for the guy. Um, right, we're creating widget. Oh, it's because we not added it to viewport. Sorry. Add to, I thought I did. Viewport. That'll do. Um, let's also stop any character movement. Have we got, where's our, our input? Um, One sec, oh, let's just say remove input. input. Disable input. Will that work? Will we need to assign a player controller to it? Let's find out. Yeah, there we go. Um, That'll do. It'd actually be nice to add a camera to that. But like I said, we'll, we'll beautify in things later on in another video. Um, but there you go. We've created it. We've got an animation. Um, I'm just going to quickly 
add a texture to this to my win and then yeah that'll be it that'll be it and cool so I've added my texture um, added a bit of simple grass wind to give it a bit of breeze as well in the air this is what my material looks like so I've got my texture um, that gives it the sway just in the particular part I want and there we go that's this one done